much for watching this video and spend some time with me today. My name is Celia Alves and I am going to show you how I solved the situation where I needed to grab data from several sheets and the number of columns in those sheets was not the same. Could be different from sheet to sheet. I used um, Power Query to solve this challenge. Uh, and of course, if you are interested in getting more tips like this one, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you are notified every time a new video is released. So let's look at the situation. Uh, we have this file here. Let's see the content of the file. In this file, I have four sheets and in each one of them, I have a row with product codes and another row with quantities. So row A goes up to 4, A4, B goes up to B5, C up to 10, and D up to 2. And uh, what happens is that every month, new sheets can be added to this file, and also new products could be added to the different sheets. And every month, we want to run um, our query in Power Query and make sure we get a list of a complete list of all the product codes. So let's try do this. I'm going to close the file and I'm going to create a separate file. I'll call it get data. And from this file, let's then create our query. So let's go to data, get data from file, from workbook. And uh, let's open the file, product details. And let's say I want all the sheets in this file. So edit. I just want the data, so let's remove other columns. Now let's expand. Uh, we could even, uh, we don't need this. And uh, we can even load more columns. It's okay. And okay. And here we are with all our products. And uh, from this column, I only want the, the rows that have product. So let's filter. Just want the product row. And now I want to organize data in a different way. So I'll click this column and will say unpivot other columns. And now we have our list here. And that's the only thing I need. So I'm going to click here and do remove other columns. And now let's uh, close and load too, or just close and load. It would put uh, the table in a new sheet. That's okay. And uh, here is what we got. So we have four and then five and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two. So we have four, five, ten, and two. Let's, let's look at our other file, original one, and do some testing. So let's compare. So we have uh, a, a 4, 5, 10, and 2. Let's add a new sheet. We can copy this one here. Uh, let's call this F F up to 5. We can put the same quantities just for example. Save. Let's go back here. Refresh. And there we have our new products. Let's do another test here. Let's go to Sheet C. And uh, add 10 more products up to C20. Okay. Let's save. Let's go back here. Reload. Or refresh, I mean. 
the refreshing is complete and we did not get our new product our new products column c only goes up to 10 instead of 20. so what's going on here let's look at the query let's look at our code and here view advanced editor let's see what's what was recorded here by by power query so what happened here was that the columns that are being expanded from each table are hard coded so the way power query interpreted uh, this query uh, was to get columns only up to column 11 so maybe because that was the highest number of columns in all the sheets that we had at that time so that's not what we want because columns will vary okay so let's cancel this and I'm going to do this on a different way let's close I can save this let's go here I'll copy the file that I just created I'll call it uh, well, I'll copy it. it's fine to call it a different name let's open the file and what I'll do is I'm going to edit the query we had And in here, I'm going to remove all the steps except the source one. Okay, so we are back to the first step where we said the file, we, we explained uh, Power Query where the file was from which we want to get the data. Okay, so how are we going to get this? Uh, we are going to the Advanced Editor and we are going to create a new step here. Uh, okay. after the source we are going to say a new step so comma here only after the last step we don't put a column and uh, let's call this the step combined tables and say that this step is going to be table.combine and now let's go to the previous step which is called uh, source and uh, from that step I only want the data column And I want uh, Power Query to combine the tables, all the tables in the column data. That's what it means. And so now I need to put the name I just created for this step in here. Okay. So let's click then and see what happens. And here we have. Uh, a combination of all our tables uh, again we just want the rows with the products product codes okay and uh, now we can do the same step which is uh, that we did before um, and pivot other columns there's our list let's remove other columns and close and load and see if we get this thing right this time so let's compare with our data original data and let's do some testing again so we have uh, column C up to 20 that's correct and we have 4 5 25 
let's test, let's confirm, 4, 5, 20, and then 2, okay, and then this sheet here that I forgot to rename, we have up to 5, that's correct, okay, so let's add, let's do the test, uh, let's add a new sheet here, call it G, and uh, let's put some products here. Let's go to that one that had more, pro more products and let's uh, add new product codes. Let's go up to 30. Okay. Quantities could be the same, it doesn't matter. So let's go here and let's refresh and let's see so we need to have c up to 30 and g the new sheet was also added here so now we have the problem solved we are happy with this and it's working uh, we solved our problem if you have other uh, ways of solving this situation let me know i would love to hear from you if you have any questions please uh, also leave your comment below and again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to get the notifications when new videos are released. In the next two videos, I will continue to build on this same example to show you other tricks and tips. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you soon.